You said before about um, how you build up self-esteem and confidence and stuff. Mm -hmm. And there's this quote from one of my friends, Alex Hormozzi, that says, you don't become confident by shouting affirmations in the mirror, but by having a stack of undeniable proof that you are who you say you are. Outwork your self-doubt. Yes. That's... that's Nailed. Nailed. I do have to say I agree. The best way to get there is to actually do the work and get the confidence from that. So... With that being said, welcome to day five of the 2024 season. It's currently the 5th of January, it's 2021, so uh, it's uh, basically 20 past eight, so it's later uh, during the day now. Uh, I had a very busy day today, I started my work at 6.30, so it was a busy one, a lot of fun. I had a rest day today, so I didn't need to go to the gym, so all I did was some mobility work. Uh, so I basically did some stretches, made sure my body felt okay uh, and we just went through the movements so nothing too special but I did still do what I needed to do. So um, it's okay to have rest days sometimes, I have one rest day every single week, I train six days a week and then one day I take off to let my body recover and basically get to where it needs to be because of course I need to start training again uh, tomorrow and my body needs to feel good in order to do so. So I take a little bit of a break on Friday and just focus on my recovery so I can get into the weekend properly. Uh, tomorrow I still have some, some work to do, but that will be something for the, the episode tomorrow. Um, so for today, all I did was some stretches. I basically stretched my whole body. So um, just moving around, doing some mobility work, going through the full motions. So basically try to take every muscle through its full range of motion. So it stretches and contracts a little bit. And was mostly focusing on the stretch and actually getting it through its motions, uh, getting the blood flowing, making sure my body recovers all the way. So that being said, uh, about the clip from the beginning, I think that is very true. This is one thing that, uh, this is an interview that very inspired me as well. So I hope it does the same for you. So if you haven't, make sure to go watch it. Uh, it's basically what he says is, and um, basically building confidence is something that happens from having undeniable proof of being who you say you are. So if you say you're a very hardworking, disciplined person, then actually make sure you do the things to back that claim up so you start feeling good about yourself. And I definitely think this is true because a lot of the times people say something or they are all talk and they never do the things they say they're going to do. And... Of course, if you're only basically focusing on saying stuff and not doing stuff, you're not going to get there because you also need to do the actual things that will help you get to your goal. So I think it's a very great, great quote and I think it's a very great uh, topic of conversation to have. So uh, very inspiring to me. So basically my, my lesson for the day for you and for me as well because it's a new year so I'm focusing on everything I've learned so far and see how you guys and I can apply it as well to all get the most out of life and out of this fitness journey that we're going on. So it's basically being a healthy person works the same way. It's having undeniable proof that you are. So going to the gym, uh, eating healthy foods, going to bed on time, it are all things that will help you get healthier. And if you do all the things on a regular basis, you can genuinely say you're, happy, you're a healthy person. But if you don't uh, really do these things, then you, it's kind of just pretending. And you don't have the undeniable proof that you actually are the healthy person. So you're kind of lying to yourself. And I feel like that kind of erodes your confidence with yourself because you know you're basically bullshitting. And I think that's very unfair towards yourself and to other people because I always feel like you have a certain obligation towards other people to be healthy, to be the best version you can be. Because if you're healthy, you'll feel good, you'll treat them well, and you'll actually get more stuff done. So I think it's a very great, great way of doing things. So overall, pretty solid, uh, pretty good. I wanted to say thank you, everyone, because I was checking. Uh, thank you very much for the support on this series so far. I noticed that the episode from yesterday was very popular, from, uh, which is very cool. I love the fact that you guys are so supportive of this, and it's getting nice uh, viewing numbers so that's very very thankful for that as well so uh, i appreciate it more than you know uh, i love the fact that i can do this and that people actually uh, enjoy watching my content which is something that i didn't really uh,
think about when I started or when I was younger. I didn't really think that people would want to follow my life because it wasn't that interesting. And to be fair, it also it isn't that interesting. Uh, in my opinion, I don't do many crazy things. Uh, but I do think it's very, very special. And I'm very honored that even though it's not a lot of people, even though it's, uh, I, like I said, I have like 1,700 subscribers on YouTube, I think it's very cool that so many people take the time out of their day to watch my videos, enjoy my content and actually support me, uh, which is something that I am just very grateful for. And this is also why I started this series to basically give you guys more content, more in depth of me, my personality, all these types of things. Uh, so basically just a short way to say thank you. I really appreciate it uh, more than you know because it's not something that goes unnoticed. I try to respond to as many people as I can all the time. And I really like the fact that there's so many people supporting me. Uh, be like I said, because it's something that I never really thought would happen when I was younger. And it's just a great experience so far to be so uh, embraced by the online community and have so many cool supporting people around me to basically uh, help me realize my dreams of becoming someone that's big on social media, it has a big following so I can really impact a lot of people and make the world a, a slightly better place in that certain way. So uh, that's I think mostly what this video is about. So make sure you have undeniable proof that you are the best version of yourself you can be and do the things you say you're gonna do so you have big confidence in yourself and you know what you're capable of. And like, once again, appreciate all the love. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like the series uh, so I can, I can keep it going. And I will see you all tomorrow. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm out for the day.